It usually takes seven or eight times asking for the sale before it actually converts. Hey, it's Dan again, back with another Daily Dose. I'm finishing up on a Friday uh, uh, afternoon here at the office, late afternoon. I'm actually here with Jamie. She's hard at work, and uh, she didn't know I was going to do this, actually, so <laughs> she's not prepared, so that's okay. It's a little bit more off the cuff, but uh, what I've been trying to focus on a lot lately and tell all my team members, tell all my agents, is that you know most people take seven or eight, uh, even more times of being asked for something before they make a purchase, before they say yes to an interview. And uh, we recently went through this uh, with a recruiting situation. Jamie had asked uh, someone who interviewed to come back in for a follow-up uh, interview. After she did the initial phone screen, they, you know, we thought this person would be a great candidate. Uh, they they scheduled it but then canceled and you know, I think Jamie kind of asked her once after that and not much follow-up and and, um, and she's recruiting tons of people right now so you know she's super busy but she told me hey this person I thought would be a great candidate scheduled it but then they canceled and you know I followed up but but doesn't look like she's gonna come back in and I said well look it, it looks looks like we got a closing problem you know it looks like that's the issue um, so Jamie uh, went a little bit more aggressive, went asked again, and uh, what happened, Jamie? She's going to join our team. Yeah, so she's joining the team, coming back, uh, you know, came back after the, uh, the second ask. Now, it was probably, my guess is, um, so it took two, uh, you know, formal asks to get her in, but she probably opened you know, five or six recruiting emails. She saw us speaking at an event, saw a bunch of our Facebook ads, so this saw a bunch of our organic posts. So this person, you know, we got in front of probably a dozen, dozen and a half times before they finally said yes. So, you know, I, I challenge you to ask yourself, where does that, uh, you know, where is that uh, somewhere I can apply? So where in your sales funnel your prospecting funnel are you you know asking someone someone wants and then and then giving up you know are you not following through enough times after you meet a prospect to book an appointment after you book an appointment uh you know for a listing or anything else are you are you following up once not getting the yes and then kind of letting it go or or are you following up often and i've i've always said you know you can't if you're offering value if you're if you have great content in your communications, you can't ask too much. Right? There's a lot of people out there that say you can, you know, you can overdo it. I've never heard anybody who's made it big in sales or social media say that. Right? I only hear people say that 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 really aren't that big, aren't producing at high numbers. So follow up early, follow up often, ask for the sale early, ask for the sale often. And, and I guarantee you, you'll double, triple, even 10x your business uh, or, or whatever you're doing. That's my message for the day. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you do, please leave a comment. Engage. I want to connect with you. I want to help you. And uh, I'll, I'll see you again, hopefully, in the next video update. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. Click the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. I want you to keep getting this great content. And if you want even more exclusive content and direct access to Carrie and myself, click here to learn about how to get a free trial period in our exclusive inner circle. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again.